Okay, for the next set of examples, um, we have the natural log of x plus 1 minus natural log of x, the difference of two logs. We can write this as the log of the quotient. And now we can write this as, uh, in its exponential form, the ln means the base is e. So this says that e squared is equal to x plus 1 over x. Okay. We can solve this a couple ways. Uh, we could simplify this as x over x plus 1 over x. So this, is, this will be a e squared equals 1 plus 1 over x. Okay. Subtract 1 from both sides. And then take the reciprocal of both sides. And so x will be 1 over e squared minus 1. Okay. Um, and you again, you can check. It turns out this will be a positive number. So uh, both x and x plus 1 are positive. So both of these are defined. So this should work. Okay. Um, the, other, the other way you could have done this is you could have multiplied both sides by x. This equation you could have multiplied both sides by x. Okay, put all the x terms together, subtract x from both sides. Factor out an x. And then divide by e squared minus 1. So you get the same thing. So either one you could do e either way. Um, for number five, uh, we can see that we have two logs and a one. So because of this one here, we're going to have to uh, do, write, write, write this as a single log equals one, hopefully. So we have that the log of x plus three base five, and we're going to add this to both sides. And now we can combine both of these. And then we, so we say, okay, five is our base. So five to the first is equal to this product. And um, I will we'll pause. I'll let you figure this out. Okay, so hopefully you multiply this out correctly. You get x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 5. Subtract 5 from both sides. Once again, you can use the quadratic formula or you can factor because we're lucky that this factors nicely, we think, uh, because this is x plus 4 and x minus 2. So we get x equals negative 4, x equals 2. Um, but again, we have to check that this works. Uh, and when we try to plug in negative 4, negative 4 plus 3, that's negative 1. So that this will be undefined. So we can't, we can't include negative 4. If we plug 2 in here, we get log of 5 base 5, that's 1. And we plug 2 in here, this is 0. So x equals 2 will be the only solution. Uh, if we look at number 6, here we have the difference of two logs. Okay, um, I think you can work on this on your own. So again, I'm going to pause the video and let you work on this. And hopefully this worked out okay. Uh, you have a difference, so you have the log base 4 of the quotient equals 3, so that quotient has to be 4 to the third, which is 64. And this quotient is, you can see, um, x squared minus 9 factors is a difference of, of 2 squares, so this is the x plus 3's cancel, and we get x minus 3 is 64, so x is 67. If we plug 67 in here, uh, every, it should work out okay. Um, so it, nothing's, not, you're not taking the log of a negative number, 
So that's our solution. And then for example seven, uh, where it could also coincidentally the base is also seven. Um, we'll worry about this three in a minute. Here we have the difference of two logs. So this is the log base seven of x divided by two. Now that's multiplied by three equals two times log base seven of four. We can bring this three up here as an exponent and we can bring this two up here as an exponent. Okay, and now we can drop the log sevens. So we get x over two cubed is equal to four squared, four squared, which is 16. And this means that x cubed over eight is 16. x cubed is 16 times eight, which I believe is 128. Okay. And we can take the cube root of both sides. So x will be the cube root of 128, I think. Don't think that's a, 128 is not a, a nice cube. It's two to the seventh. So we'll just, we just leave our answer like this. And we, we check, and but this is a positive number. So we can see that both the log base seven of that is certainly defined. So everything works out.